Good evening, I'm Leslie Foster, live in Annapolis, Maryland tonight. A close-knit community brought even closer by tragedy. Five people are dead after a gunman targeted the Annapolis Capitol Gazette. It's, uh, let me show you where this all happened. The Gazette's office is on Bestgate Road. That is right across the street from the Westfield Annapolis Mall. We're north of Route 50, not far from the Severn River. All right, coming up now, let's talk about what we're going to be focusing on tonight. The latest on the investigation. We're going to have the latest on the suspect in this case and a closer look at gun laws here in the state of Maryland. But first, we're going to take a look at what we've learned and the names of the people who died today that they're getting up and simply going to work. They were assistant editor Robert Hyacin, editorial page editor Gerald Fishman, writer and columnist Wendy Winters, sales assistant Rebecca Smith, and editor John McNamara. That information came at a briefing just a short time ago. My colleague Stephanie Ramirez has been following these briefings throughout the day today. And Steph, tell us more about what you learned. Well, Leslie, we learned from police that multiple reporters were aware of the suspect's online social media activity, that he had made violent threats and police said he wanted to hurt people. Lieutenant Brian Frazier. Uh, this was quite obvious and, and quite apparent that this individual had some type of uh, a vendetta or uh, against the, the Capitol newspaper and they were specifically targeted. Some of the latest online threats came in as early as today. According to the Anne Arundel County Police Department, Deputy Chief Bill Cramp says at around 3 this afternoon when the suspect entered the office building at 888 Bestgate Road, he did not have an IED device as earlier thought, but he did have smoke grenade canisters he used to get inside. He entered the building with a shotgun and he looked for his victims as he walked through the lower level. Lacey McKinney works for a doctor's office on the second floor. She didn't hear the shots, but says they were nervous as police began to evacuate some 170 people out of the building. She waited with police at an elevator. It is like, okay, God, is the man going to run up here and something's going to happen to all of us while we're waiting here? Keeping it together for her infant son. She tells me she made it out safely to the family reunification area set up at the Annapolis Mall across the street. Said when we were sitting outside, there was a little mom who her son had a doctor's appointment and she ended up having to be separated from him. She was so distraught because she didn't know he had made it out. We have friends at the Capitol newspaper. We're here, we're invested, we're gonna get this investigation right. Leslie, uh, police tell us that the suspect did not fight officers when they caught him. Uh, I did also want to add, I asked the mayor of Annapolis and he said no, that this was just a regular office building. They did not have security inside. So sad to hear. It's just devastating. All right, Stephanie, thank you.